What's going on guys and girls? Welcome back to the channel. Exciting episode for you today as we recap Q1. I'm going to be talking about some important lessons, some takeaways for you to have for this video to make sure you are prepared for Q2. So you're going to want to listen and take notes. But before we get into the video, it's been a very, very busy week my end, very productive. Been working on a lot of exciting things and I for one, I'm so hyped for Q2. All of the lessons learned in Q1, of course, and I'll be sharing some tips there, how you can make sure you get the most out of everything that you learn into Q1. Q2 is a big one because think about it first and foremost. Q1 is where you build a lot of your momentum. And if you're somebody already 21 days into the year, normally those people have given up. So if you're already past that, you've built new habits, new disciplines, you've actually been moving forward, you've stuck to your word then it's time for you to just reflect for a moment and actually acknowledge that. Where most people lost their motivation sometimes five or 10 days into the year, which is crazy to think about that. But if you're coming to the channel, you're investing your time and energy, you're probably someone who is actually serious about leveling themselves up, serious about wanting to create a better life for themselves. And to make sure that you're always in the loop of the videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel. You wanna keep in the loop, turn that notification bell on so you do not miss a beat. But what you came here for. Let's get into the video as a whole. So Q1, how was Q1 for all of you? Let me know in the comments. I'm really keen to know what takeaways, what breakthroughs, did anything change? Did you pass a funding assessment? Did you achieve or accomplish any of your goals? For myself, Q1 has literally flown by. It is madness how quick time has gone. However, we have a clear roadmap here at Falcon over the next five years and a lot of things have been executed on. There's lots of sub things to do for each individual block, if you like, for the bigger picture of Falcon, but it's so rewarding, so exciting, so inspiring to be working with an incredible team to move that needle in that direction every single day. Because in the background, we know everything that we do is in place to help other people, to put themselves in a position of financial freedom. And after all, that's what it's really about. Very important question, probably the most important question you'll ever ask yourself. If you repeated who you are today for the next 365 days or for the remainder of this year, where do you think you'd land? How much do you think you would have progressed? I want you to really think about that. You as the version of you right now, the habits you have, the discipline you have, the mindset that you have, just how you are right now in all aspects of life, your trading skill, everything, your routines, relationships, you name it. If you was to repeat this same version of you till the remainder of the year, do you think you would accomplish the goals? And the reason why I say that is that we're reflecting on Q1, right? So do you think you would achieve your Bs? I'm assuming you've set B goals, do goals, have goals. You just wanna progress in life, right? You wanna think about where do you wanna be? What do you wanna do? Where do you want, uh, what do you wanna have for the remainder of this year? Do you think you've got what it takes? Do you think the version of you right now will tick those off? And if that answer straight away is an alarming no, well then it's time to change. Because remember, people's willingness to learn far exceeds their willingness to change. Why is that? It's easy to learn. You watch content, you come to YouTube, you take notes, that's the easy part. Now you are more ambitious than the average person, I get that, but the cold hard truth and reality is you will not get to where you want to be unless you take action, unless you're willing to change who you are. If you're already that person and it's working for you and it's just repetition, then great. You're already on the right path. But if deep, deep down, we already know, I think deep down we already know what we need to do. Without even taking advice, you know that you need to wake up earlier. You know you need to have an evening routine. Nobody actually needs to tell you that. So deep down you know that. And if there's parts of you that need to change, well, it's time to dig into it. This is Q1, this is the perfect time for you to ASR, not just your trades, ASR yourself. ASR the performance of you, your routine in the morning, how you've been, your energy as well. All of these things are so, so important so you can get the most out of Q2. So I often find that you know, 15 days, 10 days, 21 days into the year, people that set their New Year's resolutions, that have set their goals, they've already given up. So pat on the back for those of you that have already pushed past that. However, there's the kind of not so much data on statistics, but just from what I've observed. The people that are more ambitious, that are, again, aspiring to be successful traders, they own businesses or aspire to have a business, they're into personal development, personal growth, they have a bit more time on their hands. But it tends to be this quarter, that after Q1 or during this quarter, somewhere in there, the ones that haven't got what it takes to actually change the version that they are now, 
to get to that next level, they've already given up. And they're kind of in this coasting mode where they're doing all the right things, but they don't really see the progress. Let me know if you feel that way. And you kind of, you're showing up, you've got some discipline, you know, you do all the right things, but you're not really making a difference. You're not doing those things that make the needle move in that direction or to get to that next stage. And you get caught in this loop of just doing things that are semi good, but don't really make a difference. Let me know if you resonate with that and you felt that way. This is a good time for you to figure out why, why is that? And make a plan, just keep it simple. Make a plan for Q2, all the lessons that you learned in Q1. How are you then going to learn from that and make sure that you actually get the most out of it in Q2? Knowledge is just knowledge. You've got the knowledge, but if you don't apply the knowledge, you don't have a game plan for it, what's the point? You'll be in the same situation. We'll recap Q2 and you'll be thinking about Q3 and then you're the same version as you was Q1. So what I wanna do now is I wanna share some takeaways that I personally feel will give you a tremendous amount of benefit for Q2, so let's get into those now. Right, let's get into the takeaways. So first and foremost, what I really want you to think about is traits of successful traders. Start writing these things down. This is gonna be a very active part of what you take away. So what I mean by that is I just wanna grab a bit of paper, journal, and start writing down what you think are successful traits of traders. This is gonna be one part because what I want you to do next to each one is that when you start writing out these traits, it could be decisiveness, for example, discipline, all of these things, following rules, whatever it may be, I want you to tick off which one that you think you already possess at a very high level. And then I want you to look at which one of those things do you have, which ones don't you have? And then the ones that you don't have, make a plan to work on them. Set a goal for three things you're gonna do that day, but in a certain time frame. Set that for a week, right? So you can actually practice it, that right, you're gonna take off three goals, by this time, and these are the three things. Then you can do that for seven days. What starts to happen, the crazy thing about the brain is that it's always about programming. You're either programming negative things, negative habits into your mind, or you're program programming them in solid habits, positive thoughts. And these have such a big impact on just your day-to-day -day thinking, your mood, all of these types of things. So what I want you to think about is that all the things that you do contribute towards powering that supercomputer. Your goal is to make sure that supercomputer works very well for you. So then on autopilot, you are this discipline person, you are this person that has all these successful habits. And then guess what, as a side effect, suddenly your results will be better. And you'll wonder why is that? It's because all these things are dialed in beforehand. That's why they're so important. The second thing I wanna just briefly talk about is you're never really motivated, you're never really inspired. Do you know why that is? One of the main reasons is that it's not connected to your why. You don't really know why you're doing it. And I can assure you this, quitting your job to be full-time isn't enough. Money is not a big enough incentive to do what you do. It takes a lot of work to be a successful trader. It takes a lot of time and hours. So you have to have something connected to your why. Why are you doing this? What is going to come after that? And it's not just you being full-time swanning around traveling the world. I can assure you not, that will get bored. You'll get bored of that over a very short period of time. So you need to think about what is really fueling you and get clear on that as possible. Write it down, go into as much detail as possible. So your mind knows all those things you do every day, those daily disciplines, you do it because of this, not because you want the outcome of successful trading. That's not gonna work for you. You think it will and it will get short-term results, but long-term, big level goals will come from your why. The average mind will logically say, well, this doesn't work. I've done this amount of hours and time. It doesn't work for me. Someone who can put push past that are the ones that actually succeed. And I've got a little hack for you, because remember, I, I always come from a position of wiring your mind. Because after all, if you program your subconscious in the right way, then you're gonna be moving forward in much more of a flow. Now, a lot of your mind is about self-esteem and confidence. How do you build confidence? Well, number, well, two things. Number one, you surround yourself with more confident, successful people. That's one part. Another part of raising your self-esteem is actually keeping promises to yourself making sure you do the things. When you write your daily goals, let's say you're doing you know, one, two, three, four, you've got five daily goals, for example, you've ticked them off, but you know that particular day, you didn't really do them with too much enthusiasm, or let's say that you know that you didn't really feel like doing any of them, or, or a few of them, or half the day, you just kind of done them because you know you needed to do them. You know those days, right? Where you're not feeling your, your powerful self, you're not feeling as confident as what you normally are. Maybe your nutrition's not as on point, you didn't exercise as well. Whatever has happened, you didn't have the best day that what you normally would. I want you to put a star, right? Just star at the bottom of the page, make sure you sign it as well. 
And then what's going to start to happen is that imagine you'd already done this in Q1. You'd be able to grab your journal and you'd better look back and you'd be able to count the amount of days that when you didn't feel like doing something, but your discipline was strong enough to do them in the first place. Now, what do you think that does to your self-esteem? Raises it. What do you think that does to your confidence that you can see, hold on a minute, three weeks worth, like 20, 21 days or 22 days, 34 days out of three months, for example, you can see that you still done it. Now, why is that important? Is that you've proved to yourself, even when you don't feel like doing something, you know that this is necessary towards your growth and you've done it anyway. And you've done it to the best of your ability of what you could that day. That is a absolute game changer. So I do this every day now. Whenever I feel like that, I'm always assessing, like, how did I actually do today? Did I, yes, I ticked off the goals, but did I do them with enthusiasm? Did I do them in intent, intensity? Was I actually present? Was I actually trying to do something that I know is gonna help me level up? Or was I just in some mundane routine, just ticking off some goals? You have to be enthusiastic every single day about your goals. Not every day will be like that, but you set your mind up to expect that from yourself. Why? high standards. Why wouldn't you? What do you think? It's not easy to be a high performance person to achieve these goals. But these are some simple life lessons that I learned later on in life that I wish I knew earlier that would have helped me out so much more. Some of them I've done unconsciously and, and, and you know, reflecting on them, I realized all these little things, they've, they count. They've played such a huge role. So I wanted to share them with you. So these are the takeaways. Q1 has been a phenomenal quarter. So I hope this prompts you to do the work. Don't just listen to this and go, oh yeah, that makes logical sense. But then do nothing about it. Get a pen and paper and act. The best time to act is now, not to wait till, oh yeah, I'll do that on the weekend or I'll do that tomorrow morning. No, do it now. You've just heard it. When's the best time to act? When you get the information, when you've got the knowledge, act as soon as possible because it's a different type of mentality. I hope you take that away from this and you smash Q2 out of the park. We've got some massive goals to accomplish. I can't wait to recap that again. So I hope you all have an incredible evening, morning, wherever you are all over the world. Let me know your takeaways and let's make it happen for Q2.